Hello there! Is it legal or not? This is the most common question I receive. If you already heard about AI-generated images, then stay tuned and you will figure out is it legal to post your AI-generated images on Photostacks. For those who are new here, my name is Konstantin and I am doing a video about making money online. I decided to make this video because I received too many questions about it. And when I started searching for this information in the internet, I noticed too many contradictory information. For example, this is an article from okuha.com. So, they collect websites on their opinion that are good to sell AI art. So, for example, they hear uh, Etsy, Redbubble, uh, Society, Satachi, uh, EarthStation and so on. But I was curious and I double-checked this information. And then I noticed that Redbubble doesn't allow AI-generated images. This is article from Devoted Studios. As you can see, this title is Top Art Platforms that don't work with AI. And look through the first one, the next one, and there is Redbubble. So this article says that Redbubble has a policy against the sale of AI-generated art, which means that artists are not allowed to sell works that were created using artificial intelligence on the platform. So the vital idea is don't trust anyone, even me. You need to check the information, double check. It is your money, it is your account. Because someone can tell you that you are allowed to use AI-generated images, someone can say that you are not. That's why with terms and conditions each site you want to cooperate with. But there is a problem. Not each photo stock updated the information about AI-generated images. So in this video I will write with you an email to each platform we interested in and in the next video we will figure out everything in detail from each platform. But before we do it, let's go to the internet and read about the most popular platform in the internet. And first photo stock I want to tell you about is Adobe. Adobe stock officially accepts AI-generated images into its library. This is article from stockphotosuccess.com, but you can check in their website. This is blog adobe.com. Amplifying human creativity. Adobe Stack defines new guidelines for a content made with generative AI. But let's go back. I want to show you something. There is new ambition policy, and this is the vital part, so listen carefully. All contributors are required to label, title and tag their content as AI generated when it is the case. So the customer should understand that this image was created by AI. The next one, they must ensure broad commercial rights over the content. As I said in my previous videos, you can't use Midjourney's images without paid subscription. So you need to have a commercial right to sell your images on Photostacks. The third one, all AI-generated images must be labeled as illustration, even if they are photorealistic. The fourth part, they do not allow submissions that contain third-party content, such as recognizable faces or trademarks. So don't even think about creating some images with Johnny Depp or Lion King character. And the last one. Images that portray real people require model releases. The same applies to private property or places that exist in real life. Hooray! Adobe Stock officially allows AI-generated images. And let's go back. This is Shutterstock. As you see, Shutterstock does not accept AI-generated content from our contributors. Now let's read about DreamSite. This is uh, Dreams Time. As you can see, Dreams Time is now accepting AI generated content under specific terms. So let's go down and read about it. Contributors must have all rights for the generated images. The same is Adobe. Image description must have stated clearly that the image is generated with the use of an AI. The same in Adobe. One of the categories selected for the image must be illustration and clip art AI generated. Contributors will not upload images of generated people's faces as it's impossible to provide a model release for them. And the last one, all other terms and conditions of our site must be met in addition to the above specific rules. Now let's go to the My Wire Stock account and check what other photo stocks we're interested in. So this is one of my images that I created in Midjourney. And let's see more. As you see, Shutterstock doesn't allow AI images 
Adobe yes, Dream Site yes, and now we need to check Alami, Deposit Photos, Pond5, and for example Getty. The first is Alami website. Let's go down and see contact us. Okay, there is info alami.com and let's copy paste it. And as you can see, there is email that I have already created. I was polite. I said that there is a lot of contradictory information in the internet about accepting your AI generated images. Kindly ask you to clear this information for me. Do you accept AI generated images for sale? if they were created with a commercial license and there are no brands or famous people on them. Let's add subject and send this email. Okay. So we write emails to these photo stacks and now we need to wait for their answers. After we'll receive their answers, we'll understand what photo stacks allows to use AI generated images. In this case, we will understand for 100% is it legal or not. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the thumb button. It inspired me so much. And in the next video, you and I will receive these emails and understand everything in detail. And if you didn't see my video about Wirestack, I recommend watching this video where I tell you everything in detail. But if you're already familiar with that, I recommend watching this playlist where I collected everything you need to know about Amazon KDP. Thank you for watching this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!